Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video. Today I will be reviewing everyone's most used weapon in this game and it is of course the MK14. As you see me lower my sensitivity to 3. Usually I play on 4 but with this thing I feel like it just there's no aim assist or something. I don't, I don't know if it's just me but I just can't win a gunfight with this thing to save my life and uh, I feel like a lower sensitivity helps sort of half the time in, in that regard. So it's MK14 the one that you're watching me use at the moment is just the standard one it's no variant. It's the one that everyone gets once they reach a level that I'm not even going to say because you won't be looking forward to unlocking this weapon because chances are you won't be using it because it sucks because you lose gunfights like that. I'm pretty sure I shot him in the head twice and he kind of just digested the bullets that I, I sent his way. But there you go. That was the standard variant. This is the elite version or at least one of the elite versions of this weapon. It's called the Eagle Eye and at first glances it looks pretty good because it comes with quick draw already on it so you get quick draw for free you don't have to spend any tokens on that which is a pretty good attachment for this weapon it also comes with increased uh what is it i think it's increased uh range and increased accuracy and that is awesome you know free attachment free range free accuracy but it comes uh with three fewer bullets and it also comes with a limited amount of attachments that you can use so you can't use a red dot sight you can't use any optical attachment and you can't use stock so even if you get into a gunfight you can't even move you're rooted to the spot so it's pretty useless and the gameplay you're watching of it at the moment is the sheriff which is the version that you get after 300 kills with this weapon if you can bear using this weapon for 300 kills i do not know how or why i decided to do this but um i managed to get it and it wasn't too bad actually this is probably the best weapon variant uh for core or at least it was in my opinion in my you know short time using this weapon the gameplay you're watching at the moment actually is a little i think it's like a 12 or 13 gun streak and then i kind of cut it off because everyone leaves under the team and it gets kind of boring but i did a pretty good job of getting a gun streak this game and you see an elite tactic come out here in a second i use the system hack so nobody can see what's going on on their screen so i can go around the corner and i can just get a free kill it works every single time uh, but there you go but i know what you guys are thinking rich i want to use this weapon can you give me a recommended class loadout for it? So yes, I can, inquisitive YouTube viewer. There is a picture of the class I would recommend in the top right hand of the corner of the screen now. Uh, first things first, step one, uh, get rid of the MK14 from your class loadout. Use the bow instead, because uh, it is infinitely superior to this weapon. And then just use whatever you want, because it doesn't really matter because you're using the bow. But all hope was not lost, because I seem to remember whilst I was playing that previous game, that semi-automatic rifles in Call of Duty have a pretty good history, a pretty good reputation of being effective in hardcore modes. I remember playing Call of Duty 5. Uh, there was a mode in that called Hardcore War, which is like one of my favourite game modes of all time. And it was 9v9 hardcore. And I would put this weapon on, or at least the, the version of this in that game, which was the M1 Garand. I'd use the sniper scope and I would just like camp at the back of the map, like the biggest noob you've ever seen. To be fair to me though, those are the days where I had a 0.15 download and a 0.05 upload. So I was on a constant two bar and if I tried to move, I'd just get destroyed. So I sat at the back of the map with this variant, this this weapon, the M1 Garand with the snub scope. And I was in like the top 600 for kills or something in that in that game mode because I would just play all the time. Uh, so that's what I did. I jumped on hardcore. You can see me play some hardcore domination here on Biolab, which isn't usually the greatest map for this kind of weapon. You know, it's a single shot rifle. You want to Try and keep your engagements to how they are at the moment, uh, what you're watching right now, where I sit on a rooftop and just rain down fire on people on the B flag. And that's what I tried to do for this streak, because before this streak, I was getting destroyed. I wasn't like a 0 and 5 or something. You'll see uh, at, at the end when I pull up the scoreboard. After this, I was like, well, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to tell you how long the streak goes for, uh, but you'll see I was just getting destroyed before this started. So that is pretty much the video. If you enjoyed it, if you have any, that's what I wanted to say, if you have any other guns that you would like me to do videos on, recently I've done the ASM1, I've done the Ameli, which got a buff, I did that uh, video on Thursday, and I've also done this one, the MK14, so if there's any other weapons that you think are overlooked on this game, or just completely horrible, and you'd like to see me suffer, because uh, you're sadistic, and you don't want me to do well on this game, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I will check those out for sure, but that brings this video to a close pretty much, uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like rating, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all next time. Bye.